Go ahead. Spencer, how do you uh, assess the way you wrestled today? You know, I, I think I wrestled all right. I think I was composed, I wrestled smart. You know, I think I let maybe some of the pressure of the big games get to me. I think I should open up a little more and just be a little smarter. But I think I also ultimately three pretty diligent, smart matches. Can you go back to that first, that first bout? You've waited such a long time to get here. You're talking about the pressure and stuff. Just walk me through sort of your prep. When did you get to Paris leading up to that and what it's been like and what's been different about this than any other competition? Well, I mean, we got to Paris, I think July 23rd. Um, first couple of days, pretty much just a lot of Team USA stuff and not a whole lot of training. Then we went to Normandy. Uh, France is so very kind, allow us to train one of their uh, train centers. Great facility, it was awesome. We were there until like, I don't know, the fifth. Got to the Olympic Village, training, you know, so right back into it, it's been good. You know, like I said, big, big stage. Now I've always thought every tournament is the biggest tournament, that's just how my mind works. So I was like kind of joking with the coaches like, this is the Olympics, right? Like I just don't feel like it's any different than any other tournament. So, which I wish I would have wrestled a little bit more like that too, but that's okay. But the draw, that first one you saw him before at the qualifying and stuff, that's a pretty tough first draw. Yeah, so. well, the thing is, like, it's not like, because, like, that guy, he he would have probably lost to my next two opponents, to be honest. But it's just the way he wrestles. He's dangerous. I kind of gave him a lot of respect because he kind of blasted me in Turkey twice. So I was kind of waiting for him to do something, and he really didn't. So, um, like I said, big stage. I think he was tired, cutting weight, nerves. And then I was hanging on, moving a lot, scored early. So you know, I would like to <laughs> wrestle a little more open next time, but maybe not the Olympic Games, you know. <laughs> how, about, how about your nerves? Being an Olympic, you missed Tokyo because of injury, no? Yes. So you're here, finally at the Olympics. It's been a long wait. It has what been a long wait. It's like another, another tournament. Does it feel the same? Or it feels start? exactly the same as any other tournament, to be honest with you. Just that's how you prepare for everything. It's always the same preparation because every tournament's the biggest one because it's the next one. And I said that a lot in a lot of interviews, and I'm sure that's pretty annoying to hear. But it also helps you prepare for like situations like this, where you know I'm kind of like joking and laughing. I'm talking in French to some people, like in the way, like in the line right before I go out, you know, because they they find out that I'm half French, you know. So I'm like just joking around, messing around. And then it's like, oh, time to go, you know. And then you go out there and you do your thing, right? So I think that helps a lot. Um, it is in my mother's home country, which is really cool. Um, I love France. I've been here a lot, and um, I'm really excited to tomorrow do my best. Must be must mean a lot to sorry, compete in France. It does. In your mother's country. My grandma is a very, very proud woman right now, I'm sure, and I'm very happy to go up there and talk to her a little bit and then go do my job tonight and get down to weight and get ready for definitely the toughest opponent. What's up? You've, you've spent time over in Japan. Do you, yeah. Have you, have you spent any time with Ray? Well, it's funny because I, I, when I was in Japan, he, he had tweeted that, where am I? Like, he wanted to meet me. And I would have loved to have met him, too, or even trained with him just because, like, like I said to interview earlier, um, I was a training partner in Rio when he took silver, and he was a young, young lad. And I know it hit him really hard to take silver, and he pretty much didn't compete for a long time. And I got a little back because I'd scoop not to talk too much about his life, but I know he got a, got married, and that, his his wife helped him a lot to get to here. So I know he's really excited for one more as well. And I know he doesn't want silver, but I don't want silver either. So we're gonna go out there and do our best and put on a show, hopefully. So. Excellent. Yep. Thank, thank you very much. Yep. Grandma, or a better chance to see her. I have, yes. And is she here tonight? She is. Uh, what's she's, it been like to have her actually watching? She, uh, she's just very proud. She's excited. She, she says I, she reminds me of her daughter, reminder of my mom. So, I think that's a pretty good compliment. Okay. So, nice. thank you. Thank you.